Hello, my name is Franklin Bartol and I'm a student at the University of Windsor studying behavior, cognition, and neuroscience. Now, a lot of us are trying to cut down on carbs and some are even trying to avoid gluten and that makes it kind of difficult to make a sandwich. So today I'd like to show you um, an alternative to bread in a sandwich, which is a cucumber, and we're going to make a nice tuna salad sandwich. So start with a cucumber. You want to uh, wash it with some water first. And then we're just going to cut off the ends because those can be kind of hard to bite into in a sandwich. Now cucumbers are extremely healthy because they contain uh, very few calories but they have a lot of water so it's a good way to rehydrate in the middle of the day to have this kind of sandwich. Next we're going to cut lengthwise down the middle so we have two skinny halves. And we're going to keep the skin on because the skin contains a lot of nutrients. Um, especially B vitamins, which are really good for helping you feel energized throughout the day. And cucumbers also contain fiber, which is very good for you, as well as magnesium and potassium. So there are a lot of great nutrients here that we want to keep, so we'll leave the skin on. So now you have these two long skinny halves, and you want to hollow out a little bit in the middle so that we have room for our tuna filling later on. So just take a spoon and hold the cucumber in place and just kind of drag the spoon along the middle and what you're going to be doing is removing the seeds in the middle. And you want to save these seeds because they contain a lot of the nutrients as well. Most vegetables contain most of their vitamins in the skin and the seeds so you want to try to incorporate those. So we're going to just create a little hollow place in the cucumber and you're going to take these seeds and you're going to save them. So by the end, you have all of your seeds separate in a bowl, which we'll incorporate in the filling later on, and you have two hollowed out pieces of cucumber with room for your filling. So this is going to be the bread component of your sandwich, and we'll put that aside for now. So next, the filling. I'm going to start with one drained can of tuna. Now tuna is a really great source of protein and iron, and it also contains omega-3 fatty acids, which are a very healthy kind of fat that are good for your cardiovascular system, they're good for your eyes, and they're also very good for cancer prevention. But the one thing you have to watch with tuna is the species of tuna that you choose. Now both Health Canada and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration recommend that you choose light canned tuna, which includes species like skipjack and yellowfin. Another popular kind of tuna is albacore or white tuna, but they tend to contain higher levels of mercury, so you want to avoid that. And the light canned tuna contains lower levels of mercury. So especially if you eat fish very often, you want to try to choose those species that are lower in mercury. So I have skipjack tuna here, and it's just one can, which is usually about 170 grams, and I have it drained. Now most people like to add mayonnaise to their tuna, but I have a, a healthier, lower fat alternative, which is tzatziki sauce. Now this is a Greek sauce, and it's made from strained yogurt, so it has some calcium in it, and you're getting some dairy. And then the yogurt is mixed with cucumber and olive oil, which also has healthy fats in it. And they usually add some pepper, some salt, some garlic, and sometimes a bit of lemon too for a nice zesty flavor. So I have two tablespoons of this. So this gives the nice creamy flavor that mayonnaise usually adds, but it's healthier and you can usually find low fat options in the grocery store. Or if not, you can go online and there are a lot of recipes for tzatziki sauce. It's easy to get the ingredients easy to mix up. So we're going to mix that in a little bit and we'll mix it more later on. So now we're starting to get a nice creamy filling and we're going to add to that by taking the seeds that we previously took out of our cucumber and we're going to add it to the filling. Now this adds to the, the creamy flavor because tuna can be kind of dry so it's good to add some ingredients that have a lot of moisture in them. And it also adds to that nice cucumber flavor. And now we're keeping all of the ingredients or all of the nutrients from our cucumber in our sandwich and we didn't lose anything from that vegetable. All right, so mix that around a little more and we have two more ingredients. I have one teaspoon of fresh uh, lemon juice. You can either get it freshly squeezed or you can buy a little bottle of it from the grocery store. 
And then lastly, if you're someone who likes pepper, just add a bit of a sprinkle, just as much as you think you might like, just to get a little spice in there. Now mix this all around really well. And this is actually a recipe for enough filling for two of these cucumber sandwiches. So you're going to use half of it now, and then you're going to take the other half, cover it up, put it in the fridge so that it doesn't go bad, and then over the next couple of days when you feel like having another one of these sandwiches, you have your filling all set and all you need is a cucumber. Alright, so it's a really nice creamy filling right now. So we take our cucumber bread and just spread the filling really evenly over the tuna. Make sure you've washed your hands, keep it all nice and clean. Now some people like to put the tuna halves together, um, which makes a really thick sandwich, but if you find it easier to eat uh, something a little skinnier, you could keep it like this and eat it this way. But if not, just spread half of the filling over one of the cucumber slices, and then we're going to put it all together, and it makes kind of like a cucumber sub. <laughs> Alright, so that's about half, and remember to cover this, keep it refrigerated because dairy and meat can go bad if you don't keep it nice and cold. Alright, so it fits in perfectly. We're going to put the two halves together, and now you have a nice big cucumber tuna sandwich. It has a lot of water, so it keeps you hydrated, it contains uh, protein from the tuna, you have dairy, and you have a lot of nutrients from the vegetable. Enjoy!